So this is the good and the bad of owning a DTF printer as a beginner. So I got this comment right here on a video that I posted the other day. I posted this video right here. You can go and check it out. But it says, user, blah, 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 a whole bunch of gibberish next to their name. It says, bro, nothing's wrong with the DTF prints as long as you know the mechanicals of the machines. With your own DTF printer, you can make good quality printing if you understand how to operate my advice now to give you advice my advice buy the cheap one first <laughs> until you master it <laughs> you can't be serious this is the advice that you are taking from people out there that are calling themselves professionals or even people that you're buying transfers from this person literally just said you need to understand the mechanicals of the machine and how to operate i'm a complete beginner i just want to make money online i don't understand the mechanicals of a dtf machine why should i go ahead and buy one if i'm a beginner i don't understand mechanical right do you agree? Do you understand the mechanicals of the machine? Let me know in the comment. But this is the part that got me. I don't know if this is a good comment or a bad comment, but this got me. That's some nerve to say my advice, right? Because the moment you use the word advice, that means like, yeah, you might be telling me something good. But it says my advice is to buy the cheap one until you master it. Buy the cheap one? Like literally invest money into a machine that I already know in the long run is going to mess up just to use it as a testing ground or a training ground. I don't know, y'all. Is that good advice? Because I'm kind of disturbed right now that this person thought that was good advice to buy a cheap machine until you master it. So then when you master it, you go ahead and you buy another machine, right? They're all different, man. Like, not all of these DTF machines are created equally. So now you go and buy a different one and you are expected to just know it like that because you already had training on another one? I don't know. I might just be slow catching it, but y'all let me know what y'all think, right? But that comment right there kind of got this video going. So I have another comment here I want to share with you. But before I do that, I want you to go ahead and like this video. Share it with somebody. Let me know your thoughts about DTF purchases of a machine right are you one of the ones that have had overwhelming feelings about purchasing these machines i got another one right here from a real user that has purchased these one of these machines check it out let me find a comment all right so i got this one right here from reezy reezy b i can't get your names right but reezy says bought the prestige a3 plus r bundle paid eight thousand for the printer shakers combo made my money back in four months that's good <laughs> that's good shout out to reezy for making their money back in four months with the a prestige machine but the story didn't end there. <laughs> this story did not end there. He goes on and said, but whenever there's a but, man, oh, hey, God, help us with our butts. But whenever there's a but, that means there's something happening at the end. He says, yeah, I bought the machine, but <laughs> here's the but. But the printer is like a child. All the maintenance and clogging cost me so much sleepless nights i told you about the sleepless nights he said it caused me so much sleepless nights every six months i have to buy a new print head costing me four hundred dollars a print head then the company that bought the printer from discontinue it <laughs> There's still more. There is literally still more to this video. So y'all got to hang in there. So first of all, he bought the machine eight grand, right? And they used it, made their money back. Shout out for that. 
okay, for the hustle is the butt that got me and said, man, this thing is like a child. You got to wipe his nose. You got to clean his butt, right? Because the maintenance of this machine caused me overwhelm, caused me sleepless nights. I told you, this is not just me. There's actually users that are struggling with this thing here. So all the people in the comments that are saying, oh, this dude don't know what he's talking about. How about my man right here? He knows what he's talking about, right? And then he says, yes, it cost me sleep last night. I pay $400 for a new print head every six months. I wonder how many print heads he had to get, though. He said, but worst of all, the company that was selling these machines, they discontinued it. Yes, because the machine was getting a lot of complaints. So they had to discontinue it. You guys don't get it, yo. Y'all don't get it. So to discontinue it, it's been a headache, but I have made a lot of money. I wouldn't call it a bad investment, but if you are not prepared to do a lot of maintenance, also with these machines, you get what you paid for. I don't know what else to, to, to tell you. He says you get what you pay for. Like, this is somebody that purchased a machine. I mean, sorry they laid, they laid out the name, but of course we need some names here. They laid out the name, the Prestige A3. I don't even know which one that is, but it's one of those that people purchase and pay $8,000 and the print head was going bad. So my man's like, man, I had to buy new print heads because of the clogging and the sleepless nights of maintenance. Same issue I had. So here goes another comment here from R. Rem Remley. A Remley says, you are correct. I have seen so many complaints about the maintenance, not to mention then the print head clogs after one month of use. That is 500. Also, the different program, RIPs programs, etc. I have gotten cold feet for months because I need an industry printer and shaker combo to step up my business. I'm trying to stay positive and still purchase one and just continue to do a lot of my homework. You hear it, y'all. You make the decision. This is the good and the bad of owning a DTF printer. You hear from people in the comments, not just my word for it, right? You decide because you get what you pay for.